Imagine a factory that doesn't need humans at all. No shifts, no lunch breaks, not even lights, because there's no one inside. This isn't science fiction. It's real. And it's already happening. In China. It's called a dark factory. A facility fully operated by robots, with zero human workers. And the bad news? This isn't the future. This is the present and it's about to become the new normal. Welcome to the Ilmu Public Channel. Imagine a factory shrouded in complete darkness, not because of a power outage, but because there isn't a single human inside. No diesel engines roaring, no forklifts beeping, no footsteps echoing on the floor, only robots. Welcome to the dark factory. In Beijing's Changping district, tech giant Xiaomi has built an 81,000 square meter factory. Tucked away behind a massive complex, the interior remains pitch black, not due to neglect, but simply because there's no need for lights. Why? Because there are no humans inside. Every task, from material handling, drilling, component assembly, quality testing, even air purification, is performed entirely by machines. And the most jaw-dropping fact? Every second, one smartphone rolls off the automated line. No breaks, no night shifts, no lunch hours. Even the machines don't need lighting. Everything runs in total darkness. This factory operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without pause. That's the true definition of dark, not due to blackout, but because there's no human needing light. According to industry reports, this isn't just an experiment. It's a highly advanced facility powered entirely by AI, robotics, and IoT-based sensors. Xiaomi even calls it their second generation smart factory, claiming a 60% increase in efficiency compared to conventional manufacturing plants. They invested around 2.4 billion yuan equivalent to $330 million, to turn this vision into reality. And the result? A production potential of 10 million smartphones per year, with the capacity to reach up to 31 million units if operated continuously without pause. This isn't some distant future, it's already real. And it's about to become the new normal. Let's dive into the inner workings of this dark factory. Imagine a production line packed with fully automated systems. Start. Raw materials arrive and are picked up by highly precise robotic arms. Robot handling. Components are automatically moved along the line using conveyors and AGVs, automated guided vehicles. Welding and painting. Steel arm robots perform welding and painting in controlled chambers without any human involvement. Internal assembly, screens, batteries, chipsets, all precisely aligned to the millimeter, handled by AI-driven robotic arms. Quality control, high-resolution cameras and AI sensors detect microscopic defects, inspecting soldering and internal connections. If there's an error, say a misaligned part, the system self-adjusts in real time. No need to wait for human intervention, the system heals itself instantly. As for the factory environment, to prevent dust or contamination, an automatic cleaning system maintains surgical level cleanliness, micron level dust removal. That means no cleaning staff ever need to step foot on the production floor. All of these processes are integrated into a single platform, Xiaomi Hyper IMP Intelligent Manufacturing Platform, AI and IoT work in synergy. Machines communicate with other machines, M to M. Production data is analyzed in real time. If there's an anomaly, such as overheating or a quality issue, AI immediately recommends adjustments or predictive maintenance. The result? Incredible speed. One smartphone produced every second. Maximum potential up to 31 million units if operated non-stop without interruption. That's the true meaning of a dark factory, not just without humans, 
but without interruptions. Every second, every minute, machines operate flawlessly, supporting one another, learning from one another. Every time a robot replaces a human, it means one more job lost. Xiaomi itself has stated, one technician in their automated factory can replace 20 human operators. And this isn't just happening at Xiaomi. Let's rewind to Foxconn, Apple's main supplier. Reports once revealed that Foxconn replaced 60,000 workers with machines in a single wave of automation. It wasn't a futuristic scenario. It was a corporate decision driven by efficiency, speed, and cost reduction. The impact? According to McKinsey, up to 23 million jobs across Southeast Asia are at risk of being lost to automation by 2030. This includes roles in manufacturing, retail, agriculture, and even basic office administration. Industries that have long relied on human labor, but are now being overtaken by machines and algorithms. So, what about the global scale? According to the World Economic Forum, WEF, around 42% of current business tasks are already handled by machines. And this number is expected to hold steady until 2027. However, a significant structural churn in the job market is anticipated, with 23% of global workers likely to experience major shifts in their roles over the next five years. In simpler terms, nearly one in four jobs worldwide will be transformed, disrupted or replaced. More alarmingly, WEF forecasts that 83 million jobs will disappear, while only 69 million new ones will be created, resulting in a net loss of 14 million jobs globally within just five years. It's not just manual labor that's at risk, even white-collar, entry-level jobs could be swept away. According to Dario Amode, CEO of Anthropic, one of the leading AI labs in the world, AI could eliminate up to half of all entry-level and white-collar jobs within just five years. He warns that if this trend continues, it could push US unemployment rates up to 20% by 2030, a level unseen since the Great Depression. In short, no profession is entirely safe, not because machines are evil, but because they're getting really, really good. It's not just factory workers who are at risk. Office jobs like entry-level accountants, report writers, data analysts are also being impacted. In fact, the World Economic Forum, WEF, reports that 41% of companies plan to reduce their workforce due to automation between 2020 and 2030. That means even jobs that were once considered safe behind a desk are now under threat, not from outsourcing, but from automation and AI systems that can do the same tasks faster, cheaper, and without rest. You might assume automation is only happening in developed countries, but in reality, it's already taking hold in developing nations too. Take Bangladesh, for example, a recent study found that in the garment sector, which supports the livelihoods of more than 4 million workers, the labour force has declined by 30.6% due to automation. In certain stages like cutting, the number of workers has dropped by up to 48%, and in sewing, by around 26.6%. The majority of those affected are support workers, especially women, older workers and those with limited skills. We may not be able to stop the wave of technology, but we can learn how to swim in it. According to the World Economic Forum, WEF, the most in-demand skills in the age of automation aren't just about coding or robotics. They're the deeply human skills, critical thinking, empathy, creativity, leadership, and communication. These are the qualities that machines cannot replicate and they will be the key to staying relevant in a fully automated world. We can learn from Singapore, a country that has long prepared for the challenges of automation and AI. They launched a national initiative called Skills Future Level Up, 
specifically designed to help citizens develop digital and technological competencies. Part-time training allowance. Starting early 2026, the scheme will expand to include part-time training, providing 300 Singapore dollars per month to participants aged 40 and above for up to 24 months, alongside full-time and part-time options. Additional support. A so 4,000 top-up credit for those aged 40 plus, usable for specialized courses such as AI, data analytics, or generative AI. 90% subsidies for most digital and tech-related courses offered by accredited providers. Real impact. In 2023, the program engaged over 520,000 individuals and 23,000 companies. 67% of companies in Singapore have already integrated AI into their operations. Sources, passes, .vc, Taiwan News. However, a YouGov survey shows 63% of employees have never received ethical training on generative AI, showing there's still room for improvement.